Hey everybody, it's time to play Let's Name That Electronic Device. Now this was recently picked up at a thrift store, which is where I find most of the amazingly cool electronic stuff that I do find. And when I saw this for the first time, I had no clue what this thing was. I was thinking it was maybe some kind of a control panel for a home automation system, or perhaps a, a kiosk for a, a store or some kind of display. Um, Let's take a look at it first. You can see it's got a screen on the front, LCD screen, and it is a touch screen. And then you turn around the back and there's a stand with a, uh, an input there for your uh, 5 volt power supply. You turn it around and there's a, a USB input and an SD card input. Well, with the SD card input, that might tell you that you can put photos on the thing. So maybe it's a photo frame. So the, uh, the only hints that I had as to what this product was, was I saw this, Isabella Products, which is kind of a strange name for a electronics company. And then if you look on the bottom, there's some more information on there. You'll see uh, Visit, See, Touch, Feel, and then there's a website, visitme.com. Manufactured in China under license by Isabella Products. 5 volts DC, 3 amp, and it's model 001C. And there appears to be some kind of a little door here, probably for a button battery. And I didn't try to get into this yet, but um, that would be my guess. There's probably a button battery in there. But anyway, uh, looks like a little speaker right there. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's probably a photo frame, but what would your guess have been? Uh, there's also this little thing right here, which I don't know if that's a, a light sensing uh, piece or, you know, what is that thing? Uh, there, the power button is over here. That's on the end here, so it can't be the power button. And then there's this uh, unique little uh, thing going along the side here, probably something that lights up, right? All right, well, if you haven't guessed already, I'm going to tell you what this product is because I'd never heard of it, which more than likely means none of you have heard of it either. So let's give it a power up and while it powers up I'm going to tell you what it actually is. Since the unit didn't come with its own power supply, I'm using a universal power supply. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in here in the back and let's watch it boot up. Set it about right there. So again, there's this visit thing. All right, so what is this thing? This is the Visit Cellular Enabled Digital Photo Frame. And it is a unit that connects to a GPRS network via the AT&T network. So it was a photo frame that had cellular connectivity and used email as its source or one of its sources for sending photos to a friend. So essentially, you could give this photo frame to grandma, who doesn't know, doesn't know anything about, you know, electronics or photo frames or digital stuff, and you could just email her photos through this, and it would pick them up over the air. So she doesn't even have to uh, connect it to a Wi-Fi network or anything. Just hand it over. It's ready to go. Uh, there were, <laughs> the price on this thing, $279.99 was the original plan uh, price and then there were plans that went with it as well so for $5.99 a month you could get uh, a basic plan or for $80 a year you could get the premium plan so now you can probably see why it was so attractive and everybody rushed out to buy one uh, the basic plan got you up to a hundred photos per month as I said delivered through AT&T's cellular network and it could be sent to the frame via email or from an MMS enabled cell phone. As for the premium plan, that gets you up to 1,450 photos per year or around 120 photos per month. Now it also had the capability to view locally stored images as well as access photo bucket, Flickr, and other galleries. So that history lesson that I just taught you is from slashgear.com. And this product was introduced in 2010. 
Now, again, I'm pretty tech savvy and I had never heard of this product or seen one anywhere. Uh, maybe if you had the uh, shop, one of those shopping channels, uh, maybe that's where it premiered. Who knows? But uh, in any case, uh, this one was owned by a dog, as you can see. So the dog uh, sent uh, videos uh, or pictures to it. So again, um, up here on the top of the screen, you'll see that this one was sent on April 18th from Sean. So Sean sent this via probably email to the frame. And I can scroll through the pictures just by tapping on it like that. I really don't think this was owned by a dog, but somebody who loved dogs. There were actually pictures of people on here as well, and I deleted those because I don't want to have to pay royalties to someone for using their photo in my video. Hopefully this dog doesn't hit me up for the same reason. But in any case, uh, I'm going to scroll through here. And uh, so the resolution on it is uh, 800 by 600, so it's not exactly high definition. But as you can see, it's, it's nice and clear and somewhat colorful. By touching the screen there, I have some menus that appear down at the bottom. And I touch the little square next to it, which pulls up the next uh, menu item. So I've got, I can make this one a favorite. I can also delete this photo. I can go on to the next one, which is to rotate the photo or make it full frame. Hit the next one here. And I have friends, so I suppose if Sean was my friend, then it would that would be lit up here. And I can also block this person. So if somebody emailed me a photo and I didn't really want to get photos from that person, I could simply block them. Um, let's go back on the other side here. I can reply to this photo, or I can share it. You can see that there. I can uh, lock the screen, and then there's also a settings menu here. So let's go into that. So my settings menu brings up uh, image duration, showing that it's going to play each image for an entire day. The transition effect was fade. The new photo pop-up was is turned off. So I suppose if a new photo came in, it wouldn't be shown until a day later. And then you got your energy saver there as well. And of course, it timed out and disappeared from the screen. So, uh, you know, as far as the uniqueness of the product, I think it's a great idea. But uh, I think most people would have been shying away from the re reoccurring cost associated with it. Um, had you been able to buy the photo frame and then get, you know, a certain amount of photos per month included with it, that may have been more attractive to people. But to say, oh, gee, I've got to pay for a cell plan for my phone and then I've got to pay for a cell plan for this frame doesn't seem like a great deal. Unless of course we go back to the grandma example where grandma doesn't use a, a cell phone. But um, as most of us know that's the way we share photos nowadays. We share them on Facebook or we send them instantly to each other via a text or email or so forth. So yeah that made this a little unattractive and of course you know an iPad can do the same thing that this can and uh, there's no reoccurring cost with it. So maybe it would have been a better idea for them to use Wi-Fi with it as an option. So that way there would be no reoccurring cost, but uh, that was not the case. So I've got a gallery here, I can tap on that and it'll show me all the photos that are on here. And of course I've deleted all of them other than this beautiful dog here. And if I just tap in the middle, there's got to be a way to get out of this. I guess I have to tap on a photo. Yep. So, and then there's our, our little play section right here. So, really, there's not much else to this device. So, um, as part of electronics history, I present to you this Isabella product visit photo frame with the capability of being emailed a photo and showing it off. So if you have any questions about this uh, particular product or comments or maybe things that you might suggest would have made it a better product, uh, leave that comment below and that would be up for discussion. Please share this video with a friend and uh, with grandma, if you don't mind, and um, subscribe and leave a comment below. Talk to you later and thanks for watching.